We are continuing to track the surge in flu cases all across North Texas. Tarrant County just released an update. John Peter Smith Hospital in Fort Worth has recorded 76 flu cases in just four days. The patients range in age from 15 months to 84 years old. Doctors believe children now returning to school will cause yet another spike. Fox's Natalie Salis spoke to a pediatrician and parents who are trying to keep their kids healthy. They're all in the same building, you know, spreading and sharing the germs. Plano mom Nancy Sinetti remembers all too well the start of Christmas break 2012. So, but it, we really were like dominoes. It was, you know, one and then a couple, you know, a couple days later, the next person, etc. Since then, she's armed her family with supplements, a multivitamin, probiotic, and extra vitamin C during flu season. She's not alone in looking for alternative ways to stay flu free especially with the flu vaccine only about 10% effective this year. A flurry of posts on a Facebook page for Plano moms. The last three months, there's been a lot of discussion about supplements, about for many things. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting uh, to see that more people are thinking about it. Victoria Yang is a pediatrician at Children's Health, where they've seen a spike in flu cases. I would say I'd be cautious about homeopathic approaches, mostly because we're not sure what might be the ingredients making up these medications. There haven't been many clinical studies that look into the safety and the efficacy of these individual ingredients. Yang says managing cold and flu symptoms in children is key, including ibuprofen or acetaminophen for fever control, bulb suctioning with saline drops for children under a year old, soothing a nighttime cough with a teaspoon of honey before bedtime, and using a cool mist humidifier without essential oils or other products. For parents insistent on the supplement route, she says look for makers that do third-party testing for dosing and purity before spending a dime. I truly believe in never wasting a parent's money. Mm -hmm. I would recommend calling your pediatrician asking them what particular supplement you might be considering and having a dialogue with your pediatrician. Dr. Yang says don't forget the usual measures of washing your hands and covering your cough. And she also says a note to parents, parents she sees a lot of children uh, with asthma and that's a group that she is very concerned about when it comes to other possible medical complications.